guys thanks for stopping by welcome to my studio mike simpson travel paint and experience so right now i'm in the middle well i got i'm juggling several different things i'm working on this painting behind me here and uh, i'm getting preparations underway for the, the my lewis and clark ride uh the plein air adventure i call it a ride because i was was going to take the motorcycle but now i'm taking our pickup and uh, I'll be camping in the back of the pickup, which uh, I'm started today um, outfitting the back of it, getting it laid out, cleaned up and everything. But let me, but let me show you something here real quick. See what you think. How's that? Logo on my t-shirt. And <laughs> Let's go out and I'll show you what I'm doing out with the truck. Come on. There we go. It's a real, a real comfortable cot. Uh, it's just like all those cots that you got to put together with that spring tension on the bars on the end they're kind of a a pain to set up but once you get it uh, makes for a real comfortable uh, sleeping surface now i've got a cowboy bedroll with a tarp and uh I don't have the traditional <clears throat> innards anymore. Used to have one of those single mattresses from the army cots, army barracks, some sheets, wool blankets and stuff. But I just use my sleeping bag nowadays. And uh, But I still wrap it up in that tarp. It keeps the dust and everything off of it. So that's what I'm gonna put together next. And then we'll get it set up in there. This is my uh, cowboy bedroll there's nothing in it so I'm gonna unroll it and make up my bed and then I'll put it in the truck show you how it's done this is the second one of these that I've had uh, the first one uh, I don't remember what happened to it but I think it got uh, Got a mouse hole in it, this one does also. But these snaps, this would be set up, made up for a single. Now, I've spent numerous nights out in the snowbank. Uh, my wife and I slept in it up in Montana on the Red Lodge side of Beartooth Pass one time and uh, the two of us slept together in it, made it up uh, to where we could both fit in it. And I'll show you how that's done. And typically the insides, you get a big piece of foam, some three inch foam to put in there if you want, or, or uh, often what was used was a, a mattress, single mattress. Often, uh, more likely than not when you're off, with the boys you just sleep in single in here so that would be full full width would be uh, for a double this is a great pad <clears throat> I've had it for a number of years we got these sleeping bags and pads when we were running sled dogs and uh, this is from Wiggy's up in Grand Junction look them up on the internet Wiggy's uh, sleeping bags, Grand Junction, Colorado. Good pad. Obviously, it's not a lightweight, small, compactable pad that you would use uh, backpacking or on a motorcycle glide or something like for car camping. This is great.
One thing that's pretty nice about these pads are uh, if you have two of them, they'll zip together. That's what my wife and I use uh, when we sleep in this together. So I'm going to leave it. This is where it folded over here, and I'm leaving the pad down here because you want this extra flap up here so when you're in there sleeping, you can cover your head up if you need to in case it's raining or snowing or something, which I uh, can attest to from experience. Again, this is a, a wiggy sleeping bag, and it's uh, with that laminite insulation, which, if I understand it correctly, I think he patented it and uh, used it in everything. Works well for us. Um, dries out real easy if it uh, gets wet for some reason. Stay, it keeps a nice loft. Uh, needs to be fluffed up every once in a while, like a down sleeping bag does. Even comes with a pillow, huh? But I prefer a uh, a real pillow, so I'm gonna go get one. Be right back. So here we go. So you can see it gets made up like this and in days of old um, cowboys used to roll their clothes in there maybe the best shirt that they have roll it up in there so it stays uh, somewhat pressed if you will uh, you can roll a rifle up in there maybe a pistol if you want so just kind of your your uh, closet and your bed uh, your, you know second set of clothes laundry bag just it all get wrapped up in there nice neat little package So there you go. You can throw that into the bed wagon or the back of your pickup, whatever means you've got to haul it around. Put it on a back horse, and there's your bed. I'm gonna lay it out in the in the truck, and then uh, I'll get back with you and we'll show you what it looks like. So there you go. Let's see you got it laid out on that cot. <clears throat> and I'll leave it all snapped up till I get to use it and that way the dust or whatever debris might get in the back here uh, won't contaminate my sleeping bag okay that's it for now as I add more to it I'll, uh, I'll bring you back into the picture